and then the reproach. When the parents would say, I have spent so much money and still you are failing. You must be really stupid, there is no one or nothing that will be able to help you. You just wasted our money. Xenia we must explore the role of the parents. Just excuse me let me get this. You are flippin' rude, we are chatting. I am sorry, that really hurt. Sometimes you are such a pissy. Am I forgiven? Yes. Just turn off your flippin' phone. As I was saying, we must explore the role of the parents. What role should a parent play in the success of a student? As parents, we all want what is best for our children. Unfortunately when the kids were born, they did not come with instructions. If they did, life might have been easier. Most of what we know about parenting, we have learned from our parents. But now for the big revelation. As you do not have all the answers, nor did your parents had all the answers when they raised you. The question every parent must ask him or herself is, in what manner, is my help, enabling or disabling, my child? Can helping my child, be to the detriment of my child? Can you enable your child, to be disabled? Your child gives you the opportunity to live life again. Try not to do it, with your child's life. It belongs to him not to you. Help them by all means. That your emphasis should be on helping them not doing it for them. Try not to take over. Your job is not to raise children, but to raise successful adults. I've seen so many parents complete their child's homework. And then they are so proud that they, not the child, got 80% for a project. They can only be proud of themselves, not the child for the child did nothing. To them I have only got one thing to say, whoopee. You are in your 30s or 40s, and you scored 80 in a grade 3 exam. This is after you have done it for the second time. What worries me even more is the message you send to your child. Is it one of you are not good enough to do it? I can do it better? Of course you can do it better, you are much older than the child. What advice do you have for the parents? My advice for the parents. Allow your child to live and experience life. Allow him to succeed and to fail as we can all learn as much from failure, as what we can learn from success. Teach them the consequences of their actions. That for every action there is a reaction. This is a law of nature and with all laws of nature it is not in your power to change them. Your children do not belong to you. They belong to the future. And it is your responsibility, to propel them as far as possible into the future. I am aware that this is not what you want to know. But what you should know. It is not my job to pacify you. You are supposed to support your children. You should be the safety net that will catch them when they fall. Your presence should inspire them to climb as high as possible. But the climbing, this they must do on their own. If you do the climbing, who will be the safety net? Will they ever be able to feel secure? Will they be able to feel enabled and proud of what they have accomplished? If you do it for them? Will they be able to grow, or are you preventing them from the growing? Are you teaching them to be lazy? Just so that you can complain about laziness. Things to ponder on. Later on in this series, we will go into more detail, on what role, the parent plays in the success of the student.